Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of biochemistry. We are doing this from Satya Narayana textbook of biochemistry. Mineral metabolism hum is what continue kar rahe and today the mineral that we are going to tap is sulfur. So sulfur ke metabolism pe baat karenge. Now sulfur, ab ye dekhen saare naam wo hain jinko if you think about a minute ke uh, sodium ki to hum waise bhi bahut saari baat har waqt kar rahe hote hain because when we study the excretory system to usme sodium detail mein discuss hota hai calcium hum bahut detail mein discuss kar rahe hote hain har waqt potassium hum uh, usually discuss kar rahe hote hain but there are some minerals jo hum bahut zyada un pe focus hi nahi kar rahe hote uh, maine pehle bhi aapse baat ki thi na magnesium ke bare mein uh, phir uh, phosphorus ke bare mein ab ye sulfur hai these are the unsung heroes you know they are very important in the body as far as their functions are concerned but unpe us tarah se tawajjuh nahi di jati so let's talk about sulfur today right acha sulfur hamari body mein usually present hota hai in the form of organic uh, you know structures what does that mean iska matlab ye hai ki ye bahut sare uh, aise compounds mein hoga which are organic compounds so you know by definition organic compounds are those which contain hydrocarbons so unme carbon hydrogen bonds hain so think about uh, proteins for example think about amino acids so these are all the structures which contain hydrocarbons they are organic structures and sulfur is usually present as a side chain or as a side group in many of the organic molecules abhi hum dekhenge thodi der mein right methionine uh, this is one of the amino acids cysteine cysteine there are three sulfur containing amino acids present in the protein so must remember these three okay you just cannot afford to forget about them so methionine cysteine cysteine aapko pata hai there are many amino acids aur har amino acid ki classification mein there are some important points to remember some of them are for example acidic amino acids some of them are basic amino acids some of them are the amino acids which uh, आर ग्लूकोजेनिक सम ऑफ दैम आर दोज विच कंटेन सल्फर सो ये जो सारे कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स हैं अमीनो एसिड के दे शुड बी ऑन योर फिंगर टेप्स सो आज के कॉन्टेक्स में सल्फर कंटेनिंग अमीनो एसिड्स हैं मिथायोनिन सिस्टीन एंड सिस्टाइन ओके जनरली प्रोटीन्स कंटेन अबाउट वन परसेंट सल्फर ऑफ द होल बॉडी बाय वेट सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टेक होम मैसेज हेयर अनलाइक सोडियम जैसे सोडियम है फ्री सोडियम सीरम में होता है फ्री कैल्शियम होता है आयोनिक फॉर्म में भी होता है सो ऑल्सो इन दी इनऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म बट सल्फर इज यूजली प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक स्ट्रक्चर्स राइट सो इट इज बाउंड टू सम ऑर्गेनिक स्ट्रक्चर्स अब क्या काम करता है इसके काम भी ऐसे ही हैं बिकॉज इट इज बाउंड टू ऑर्गेनिक स्टफ सो सल्फर कंटेनिंग अमीनो एसिड्स तीन हैं जिनके नाम आपको याद रखने मिथायोनिन सिस्टीन सिस्टाइन they are very essential for a structural conformation and biological function of proteins uh, so aapko pata hai proteins mein there are enzymes there are structural protein and the presence of sulfur uh, in the protein structure is actually integral to the function of many of the proteins so for example um, यू नो सल्फर होता कैसे है प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चर्स में आइदर इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ डाइसल्फाइड बॉन्ड्स एस एस और सल्फाइड्रिल ग्रुप्स सो दीज टू स्ट्रक्चर्स यू मस्ट रिमेम्बर सो दे आर प्रेजेंट एज साइड चेंज इन द प्रोटीन सो अगर एक लंबी सी प्रोटीन मॉलिक्यूल है जिसमें बहुत सारे कार्बन होंगे हाइड्रोजन होंगे अमीनो ग्रुप होगा कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ग्रुप होगा देन दे विल बी इफ देर इज मिथायोनिन सिस्टीन और सिस्टाइन देन दे विल बी आइदर डाइसल्फाइड बॉन्ड्स और सल्फाइड्रिल बॉन्ड्स एज वेल ओके एंड दे आर एक्चुअली मैं बार बार कह रहा हूँ इसेंशियल फॉर द फंक्शन ऑफ दोज प्रोटीन्स अब जो भी उनका फंक्शन है इफ दे आर इंजाइम्स तो उनकी इंजाइमेरिक एक्टिविटी के लिए ये जरूरी है इफ दे आर स्ट्रक्चरल प्रोटीन्स तो उनके स्ट्रक्चरल इंटीग्रिटी के लिए ये सल्फर जरूरी है देन देर आर वाइटमिन थाइमिन बायोथिन लेपोइक एसिड को इंजाइम्स ए दे ऑल्सो कंटेन सल्फर सो इमेजिन इनके फंक्शनिंग के लिए भी सल्फर इंपॉर्टेंट है देन लुक एट दीज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स दे आर हेपेरन कॉन्ड्रॉइड एंड सल्फेट ग्ल्यूट थायन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ना सबके रोल आपको पता है हेपरिन का आपको पता है फंक्शन कॉन्ड्रॉइड एंड सल्फेट सो ब्लड क्लॉटिंग टिश्यू मैट्रिक्स दैन एंटाई ऑक्सीडेटिव स्टफ इन सब में सल्फर मौजूद है सो सल्फर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बायोलॉजिकली दैन पैप्स 
Phosphoadenosine phosphosulfate is the active sulfate utilized for several reactions. So, for example, synthesis of glycose aminoglycans uh, and detoxification mechanism at various places in the body, such as in liver. So, glycose aminoglycans are very important compounds. Um, they also need sulfur, and sulfur has to be then activated to this compound. So, remember the PAPS thing, okay? So, PAPS, ke end me SRI, remember sulfur from this is required for glycose I know glycan scan may be SRI if you want to make a mnemonic like this. Then sulfur containing amino acids, um, methionine in particular, is actively involved in transmethylation reaction. It's a very important reaction in the body. Just my methyl groups join, they are transferred from one part to the other part, and sulfur containing amino acid methionine is the one involved. So overall, if you sulfur, so sulfur is not uh, a mineral which is maintaining the osmotic balance of the body for example so this is not involved in osmotic shift that's the job of sodium potassium chloride it is not involved in bone strength for example that's the job of perhaps calcium and phosphorus sulfur is more involved in biological reactions it is more involved in the heart core business enzymatic reaction structural integrity some vitamins some important um, um, extracellular matrix components such as glycosaminoglycans, some important transmethylation reactions. So the hard core of your body, the physiology of your body, which requires a lot of chemical reactions, they need sulfur. Okay. There is no specific dietary requirement of sulfur. Adequate um, intake of sulfur containing essential amino acid methionine will meet the body needs. And enough if you proteins are good, then there is enough uh, concentration of methionine. Ki. So, sulfur ki, uh, uh, sulfur ki koi specific uh, you know, daily allowance is recommended. Hai nahi. So, usually it is taken in enough amount, so you are fine. However, Food proteins rich in methionine and cysteine are the source of sulfur. So if you look looking for sulfur, obviously look for methionine and cysteine. How is it excreted from the body? The sulfur from different compounds is oxidized in the liver into sulfate. So sulfur converted into sulfate and then excreted out via the uh, renal system. The urine contains inorganic sulfate because sulfur sulfate may convert to the liver. Mein. Organic and conjugated or ethereal sulfate and oxidized sulfur are also so. Zada tar jo excretion wala sulfur hai, that is inorganic sulfur, about 80%, but then there are some other forms as well. The unoxidized sulfur is in the form of sulfur containing amino acids such as thiocyanates etc the take home message main dekhen alag alag minerals pe focus isi liye kar raha hu because these minerals main bar bar inko kehta hu many of them are simply unsung heroes they are very important for the body but many of the students kind of ignore them and uh, therefore they do not focus on them the way they should um, so please in videos pe focus kare ye 5 6 minutes ki choti choti si videos hain but ye aapka pura ek mineral cover kar rahi hain aur har important baat jo book mein likhi hai hum usko cover kar rahe hain so all the very best for understanding sulfur very much important for many of the biochemical reactions taking place in your body all the very best phir aap se milta hu um, Oh, Mazid important minerals ke saad, the next one will be iron take care of yourself